dogs do some really weird things, such as sniffing our butts, licking our feet, and tilting their heads while we speak to them. But these behaviors aren't just random. Research has revealed that there are specific yet surprising reasons behind each of these peculiar actions. So let's kick off with an exploration of one such behavior that every dog owner is familiar with. Licking your feet. The stinkier, the better. Believe it or not, your dog is attracted to the unique scents your feet carry. Our feet, being enclosed in shoes most of the day, can get sweaty, and this sweat contains salt, which your dog finds irresistibly tasty. But it's not just about the salt. The scent of your feet tells a story, providing information about you that your dog finds interesting. Tilting their heads to the side. Dogs have an incredible sense of hearing, yet their ear shape can sometimes make it challenging to catch every sound directly. By tilting their head, they can adjust the position of their ears, improving their ability to pinpoint the origin of a noise or understand its nuances. Additionally, when you're talking to them, they're not just listening to the sound of your voice, they're also trying to comprehend you. The muscles that control their facial expressions and head movements are linked to the part of the brain responsible for processing sound and emotion. They're essentially trying to read you, combining the sound of your voice with your facial expressions to better understand your intentions or emotions. What's funny is that your positive reactions to their head tilts can reinforce this behavior. Each time you respond with laughter or affection, they register that head tilting gets your attention and praise. In a way, you might be encouraging them to keep doing it. Not that anyone's complaining. Licking their lips. This might seem like a clear sign they're just thinking about their next meal, but this gesture can have another meaning beyond hunger. When there's no food in sight and your dog is still licking their lips, it's time to pay attention to their emotional state. This behavior is often a sign of nervousness in dogs. Their environment plays a huge role in how they feel. Something as simple as a new object in the room, a loud noise or an unfamiliar person could make them feel uneasy. Look around and try to identify what might be causing their discomfort. Giving them more space or removing the stressor, if possible, can help them feel more at ease. Rolling in smelly things like poop. Yes, it's as gross as it sounds, but for dogs, it's a completely different story. This behavior is deeply rooted in their genetics, dating back to their ancestors who used it as a survival strategy. By rolling in the scent of something else, dogs could mask their own smell, making it easier for them to sneak up on prey or hide from predators. In the modern world, where the biggest threat might be a bath, this behavior might seem unnecessary. However, it serves another purpose in the social lives of dogs. When they roll in something smelly, they're essentially wearing a new scent like a badge of honor. It's their way of showing off to other dogs, a canine version of posting an exotic vacation photo on social media. Stealing your stuff. Your belongings carry your unique smell, which to your dog is incredibly comforting and appealing. By taking your stuff, they're essentially holding onto a piece of you, which makes them feel closer to their favorite person in the world. This behavior also has a playful side. Dogs know that stealing something will almost guarantee your attention. Whether it's a chase around the living room or a tug of war, these moments are thrilling for them. Pika. Pika, the act of eating things that aren't food, like sticks, rocks, socks, and even poop, might seem like a bizarre habit for dogs. One potential cause of pika is nutritional deficiency. Dogs might eat non-food items in an attempt to satisfy an unmet dietary need, indicating that their current diet might be lacking in essential vitamins or minerals. Stress can also lead dogs to engage in pika. Just as humans might bite their nails or fidget when nervous, dogs may consume inedible objects as a coping mechanism for their stress. Similarly, puppies who are teething might find relief in chewing on hard objects, though this can lead to dangerous habits if not monitored. Eating non-food items can lead to intestinal blockages or other serious health problems, requiring immediate veterinary attention. If you notice your dog engaging in pika, it's crucial to consult with a veterinarian. 
They can help identify the root cause of this behavior and develop a strategy to address it, ensuring your dog's safety and well-being. Kicking grass after doing their business. This is actually a very sophisticated method of communication. Dogs have scent glands in their paw pads, and by kicking the grass, they're actually releasing pheromones into the environment. These pheromones serve as a marker, signaling to other dogs that they've been there. It's a bit like leaving a personal signature in scent form. It's akin to a message board, where dogs can learn about each other's presence, status, and even health just by sniffing around. Weird Gifts you might find your dog presenting you with a dirty sock, a half-chewed toy, or even something they scavenged from the trash. Dogs don't perceive these items as dirty or undesirable. To them, these objects are valuable because they carry interesting smells and textures. These gifts are their way of initiating playtime or sharing a piece of their world with you. Think of it as their version of bringing a toy to share except their choices in toys can be a bit less conventional than what we might prefer. Staring at you when they poop. Pooping leaves your dog really vulnerable, so they're instinctively looking out for potential threats. So when they stare at you, they make sure that you're keeping watch for any dangers. But there's more to it than just seeking protection. This behavior can also be a learned response. During their puppy days, if you rewarded them with treats or praise for going potty in the right spot, they might now associate doing their business with receiving a reward from you. So that expectant look they give you? It's partly them wondering if a treat is on the way as a job well done. Licking their private parts. Unlike humans, dogs don't have access to toilet paper, so this is their method of grooming and maintaining hygiene. However, if you notice your dog is doing this excessively, and it's accompanied by signs like scooting on the floor or redness in the area, it might be time for a vet visit. Sleeping on your dirty clothes or shoes. The scent you leave behind on your clothes and shoes is incredibly soothing to your dog. Your scent carries information about you, such as where you've been and what you've been doing, much like a personal diary. By sleeping on your clothes or shoes, your dog is keeping you close, even when you're not there. Joining you in the restroom. So this one might be a bit disturbing, but the bathroom is a place of unique smells, especially to a dog's advanced sense of smell. When you're in there, various scents that don't usually mingle come together, creating a sort of olfactory cocktail. To your dog, these smells are extra intriguing because they provide a lot of information about you their beloved owner. Sniffing butts. Dogs love sniffing butts, be it humans, other dogs, or even cats. When they sniff other dogs' butts, they gather a wealth of information about the other dog, such as their identity, health status, emotional state, and even their diet. And when it comes to your butt or crotch, Humans have special sweat glands. They're called apocrine glands, which secrete pheromones. These pheromones carry detailed personal information, including age, mood, and gender. This explains why your dog might be particularly interested in your crotch or butt area, as these pheromones are like an open book about you. Furthermore, if a person has recently had sex, or for ladies, if you are on your period, the scent becomes even more intense to dogs. So, while it might be a little awkward when your dog decides to greet you with a nose to the rear, they're just trying to learn more about you in the way they know best. Speaking of greeting our dogs, while we humans might hug, kiss, and say, I love you to express our feelings, dogs are wired completely differently. So, when we lean in for a smooch, what's going through their minds? Check out this video to find out, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.